Hello, Kennedy. Hello, Sandra. I don't know if I have a problem with them being into face cream. I mean, there could be worse things. You should use Pond's cold cream, and that's it. <laughs> Maybe some Crisco in your hair. Uh, no, and I actually, I go to my daughters for advice on what I should buy at places like Sephora and Target because they tend to share their tips of things that work on places like TikTok. I'm not dying for TikTok, mm -hmm. but I'm always dying for a good beauty secret. <laughs> And as long as it's not makeup, I really, I don't mind. I mean, apparently these are like $24 lip masks, $29. Which, by the way, the Laneige lip mask <laughs> is fantastic. I use it every night. Pretty and that is one for my 18-year-old. Face mists are a big thing, mm -hmm. okay? Whipped moisturizers. And what's really big are serums mm -hmm. and the face masks. They're really into this. So the Wall Street Journal talked about one mom who lamented that her daughter packs an entire duffel bag of her skincare products to go to a sleepover. Uh, this, so now there's also tweens describing their skincare routines, okay? Olivia says she likes to make a nighttime smoothie with her products. A 10-year-old living in the UK, she made a PowerPoint presentation for her family to learn about what she wants from her holiday skincare Smart. picks. Yep. Um, Big geographic differences. And when you were a kid and you got to go to another city, mm -hmm. you know, people looked and sounded so different. And now kids are pretty much all the same. And they've all got the same access to the same products. And so they're excited to share something. I'd much rather buy a $50 moisturizer than a $500 uh, <laughs> iPad. That's the thing, yeah. Well, that's fair enough. The skincare is expensive, but comparatively um, to technology, that is. All right, the other thing is millennial parents say that well meaning boomers are gifting junk to their grandkids. So the millennials that are parents now are telling grandma and grandpa, stop giving our kids junk. I guess they make the point toys are cheaper than ever, parents are out buying them because the grandparents are. And the parents say, this is just clutter in my house. So what people did during the pandemic is they decluttered. They got really into organizational programs like Marie Kondo. And uh, they, they realized that unless it brings you joy, set it free. <laughs> and that was very freeing for so many parents because they got rid of a lot of stuff that their kids don't use. Mm -hmm. And now grandparents, they want to do something. They want to feel useful. That's why you need an open line of communication because otherwise they're going to be buying those, you know, little tiny Mercedes, the, the, the cars that the right. three-year-olds can drive. And, you know, it's like, I guess it's part of the joy of being a grandparent is you want to spoil them. But for a lot of people, rent and housing so expensive. Yeah. People can't move on up like they used to. Yeah. You, you cannot upsize but for a like parent, you could a few a years ago. a grandparent listening, what, if they want to do something, what, yeah. what's, what should they do? $60 moisturizer. <laughs> That's exactly what you do. <laughs> Go to Sephora and find the most expensive group you can find. Oh my gosh. Kennedy, great to see you. Nice to see you okay. too. Thank you. Merry Christmas. You too. All right, John. Uh, our 12-year-old